Pamela. I'm Avon. And I'm Kate. Today we're auditioning with you from the Darlington House, which is located at 1610 20th Street, Northwest in DuPont Circle. And today our guest knows all about how to be social in the city. Lindsay Mask, founder of LDC, thank you so much for being with us. It's really hard to hear that sitting among you three, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, we're so excited you're with us because we love social groups. You. And you created one. What is LDC? Well, LDC started as a dinner group. So it was as simple as Ladies Dinner Club. Oh, and okay. I had five of my girlfriends sit down with me. I said, once a month, we're working in a man's world. I just need five people that once a month I can sit with and talk mm -hmm. and not really worry about being politically correct. And it's OK to talk about my shoes or, and not be looked down upon at the office or whatnot. So I, I said, please don't tell anyone about it. Let's just make it private. We'll, we'll pick out a new <laughs> restaurant every month. And the next thing I know, word of mouth, it just grew and it grew and it grew. And then suddenly I recognized that it was an actual need. I wasn't the only one feeling this sort of level of frustration and wanting to be able, wanting to, be able to talk about fashion instead of just politics, but still be political and still be relevant. And um, the next thing I know, we now have 424 girls. Seriously? That's oh crazy. Oh my gosh, 424. So when did you start this exactly? Three years ago. So it's, it's built it's up just, and built yeah, up. Yeah, and it's and really up. just grown out from underneath my feet. Uh, we do have a welcome committee now. It's very ad hoc. There's nothing formal. There's not really a board. Um, but it fulfills a need. And we have a listserv mm -hmm. that has the most astronomical information that comes through it because of the membership. So whatever everyone else is involved in, now we are all involved in. So if there is a protest of some sort, if there is um, a run, an art show, a design show, we have multiple designers that are in the group. We've had we've had sex for that when you come to us. We have vendors that come to us now because they recognize that you have a group of strong, successful, young, interested, and interesting women who um, they're a great market mm -hmm. to tap into, mm -hmm. and they we. We definitely reap the benefits of it. And it's simply just for... Just socializing. Yeah, just simply getting together. You networking. talk about socializing, you talk about events, but one thing that I've also noticed that it's really used for, which is really helpful, is to get recommendations about businesses, about products. I mean, maybe you're new to the city and you don't know where to go to the dentist. Exactly. Yeah, doctor referrals. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of doctor referrals. Uh, job referrals. It's become also a great source for job leads. And several times I have girls who haven't even quite moved to the district who then uh, who email and say, I'd like to join onto your listserv. I hear that there are a lot of job leads and ultimately move to DC and I, I'm like immediately are part of a network and a family. And I think right. that's become invaluable too for people who are new to the city. It can be slightly overwhelming if you come here. You mm -hmm. don't know one single person. You don't know where to live. You don't know what's safe. And that's what people do. They get on this listserv. Is the northeast area of town safe? And then you'll have someone respond, well, is it near Lincoln Park? Is it? And, and they get this immediate feedback. And you have a network of women. The, the motto is women helping women. And that is exactly what we do. Whether you have your own business, we want to help you succeed. If you, if you want to run faster, we've got a running group for you. If you want to live in a better home, if you need a realtor, if you need a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, and then our dinners now. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, dinners. there's 325 people yeah, you can find yeah, a restaurant. We typically yeah. have 20 to 40 girls come to each one. Okay. okay, everybody's obviously busy, so you just kind of pick a random day of the week, and and whoever can come can come, and, and that's another beauty of the group. There are no obligations. There's no money up front. There's no you don't fees, have to associate no with a membership fee or anything. Yeah, no, you you get what you give, and if you want to participate, you can, and and if you do, you you I mean you. It's such a success. You receive so much benefit from it. So your monthly dinners, do you have a particular topic that you talk about? That's that right. So we'll on? change it from month okay. to month. So last month in particular, or actually it would be this month in June, but um, we were running in Susan G. Komen for the first time as a, as a group. We raised around $2,500, which we thought was pretty good for our first time to do this. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And so for that dinner, we went had pasta, full carb, dinner. Mm -hmm. We went to Buca de Peppo and Peppo and we had a speaker, a phenomenal speaker because she was a nutritionist who spoke on cancer fighting foods. Wow. So After wow. you ate your pasta. <laughs> and the dessert. <laughs> and the dessert. She did analyze what we were eating as well, which I didn't think about, but um, she was just amazing and she was able to teach us and inform us about foods that 
you know, will help us to fight cancer the day before we all run this run on behalf of you know raising money for right. to find right. the cure for the breast cancer. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's things like that. They're always relevant to the day. I I always take feedback from from the group, the membership. And how do you manage? How do you manage the feedback? Being that there's over 400 women. And you have a yeah. serve. It's not. It's not as if you have a Facebook. If you, you have Facebook as well, you do Facebook, Facebook and other social well. media as yes. well. Yes, okay. So is. how do you? How would you? Cause you can't be doing this by yourself. I I, I do, except for the new membership. So you're not sleeping. <laughs> no. um, it's really low. It's it's not a lot of work. It's an easy lift because I enjoy it. I think part of my nature right. is to help people, and I think that's probably what I have found in most other people is they really just want an avenue to help people. And if you're asked a question for a recommendation, don't you want to answer? Of course right. you do. You want right. to help somebody who's new. And and that's all that is. And that's an easy lift. It's not, you don't go out of your way. It's an email. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to go, if you don't have the time to go to a dinner, you don't. But you're still a participant and you're still a very important part of the group. So if somebody is in town now or if they're coming from um, out of town and they're like, okay, I heard about this organization. How do they find out more? How do they join? I, and this how is a she? little bit yeah. too yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Joined. How do I join? How does she not for men yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, however, there's always that fatal attempt. Um, <laughs> We, well, we have a Yahoo listserv, so if you okay. just go to yahoogroups.com and you type in LDC, you will find it. Ladies DC is in Yahoo listserv, and then on Facebook, if you just do the search for Ladies DC or LDC, you'll find it that way. And apparently, it really travels by word of mouth as well. It absolutely does. I mean, there is no advertising. We've been highlighted by National Journal twice. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, we get written up from time to time as being a really solid, very professional networking mm -hmm. group. It is mm -hmm. not just about social activities, but the networking capabilities with this group are really phenomenal. I can't imagine so. the slew of applicants you're going to have after appearing here <laughs> on the District Dish. <laughs> that's our hope. And you won't be sleeping at all. Well, that's right. Ladies Dinner Club or LDC can tell you a lot of things about the district and so can we. Thanks for watching this episode of The District Dish.